You know, you never know what Boris is gonna say, <laughs> but you know he is always going to tell you what he really thinks. Uh, so uh, coming up next, we have uh, another user that is uh, speaking um, for the first time here at the OpenStack Summit from SAP. Please welcome Nayaki Nayar. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. Thank you, Jonathan. That was a great uh, presentation uh, this morning. Uh, before I jump into the details, I do want to say this. I want to um, say that we are very happy and proud to be a part of the OpenStack uh, ecosystem. And thank you for giving us this opportunity to share with you our journey and our experience with the OpenStack. There are uh, three key things that I want to share with you today. The first, you heard Donna speak this morning about digital transformation, how we as SAP are working with customers across every industry in helping them with their uh, digital transformation, and how we are leveraging the entire OpenStack to power our platform, our HANA Cloud platform, which is the foundation for all of our uh, digital applications. And finally, how we are contributing to the OpenStack ecosystem, to the community, and the various projects that we are a part of. So let's take a step back and look at what does digital transformation really mean? I'm sure you heard, hear about digital transformation all day long. And we have defined this transformation in what we call three, four major pillars. The first one being customer experience, how you engage with your customers in today's digital world. Gone are the days when customers call you if they have a service problem. Today's customers, when they have a service issue, they will tweet about that issue, and they expect the service provider to be listening back to them and respond back to them on their Twitter handle. How you engage with your suppliers is no longer the world where you engage with your suppliers one-on-one. -on -one. It's how you leverage the entire ecosystem, entire network of suppliers to optimize your end-to-end -end supply chain and how do you really engage with your workforce, your digital workforce. It's not just about providing basic HR services, but really about how you nurture and hire and retain top talent. And the last one, I would say, is how do you leverage this whole connected world? You hear about this, billions of devices that would be connected. How do companies leverage this to really generate outcomes? I talked to a lot of CEOs, CFOs, and head of operations in companies. And they say, Nayaki, as we go through this journey of digital transformation where IoT is a very big part of, they really care about the outcomes. In this framework, we define what we call things to outcome. They really care about the outcomes this transformation helps them generate. Outcomes like net new customer experiences, net new revenue modules, net new... Um, uh, reducing the turnaround times or reducing their uh, maintenance times. And to get to these outcomes, it's a journey that they have to go through. How they connect the things to get the insights. The insights is what generates uh, them to take some actions, and actions is uh, what generates all of these outcomes. And uh, one of the key questions I get is, Nayaki, can you give me examples of various customers that have really gone through this transformation and have generated these outcomes? I have a great example. Uh, Kaiser Compressors is the largest manufacturer of uh, compressors in uh, Germany. And when Kaiser started this uh, journey last year, their number one requirement was, how do you maintain the uh, compressors that they sell to the customers at the highest efficiency? And they not only were able to improve the efficiency and the maintenance of their compressors, but they effectively transformed their business model of not just selling compressors, but really selling compressed air. Complete transformation of their business model. I was talking to a large uh, tire company, and they said, Nayaki, we are looking at transforming our business model of not just selling tires, but really selling mileage as a service. 
And my favorite really is Under Armour. I'm sure you all know Under Armour as a brand. Just 10 to 15 years back, it was barely even known. Today, they're not only competing with the likes of all the majors like Nikes and Raybocks, but really transforming their business model of not just selling fitness products, but selling fitness as a service. This is what we call transforming business models into what we call outcome-based services. How is all this possible? We are leveraging our platform, our HANA Cloud platform, which is powered by the OpenStack infrastructure. And I will say this, over the last uh, few years, we are actively working towards converging. We have close to 23 different cloud infrastructures, which was a result of various acquisitions that we did. And we are converging all of those to OpenStack standard. And not only that, it helps us also not have a vendor lock-in. In addition, we are also leveraging the, the Cloud Foundry open source to manage all our uh, various microservices that are a big part of this uh, platform. As you can see, we have quite a few microservices here. On the IoT side, we have microservices that help you manage the intelligence at the edge and also how you do smart data streaming, how you do dynamic tiering for uh, accessing uh, big data solutions, and how do you do end-to-end -end, uh, device management. Let me share with you uh, Siemens. Siemens is a great customer of ours, uh, and they have gone, they're going through this whole industry photo transformation of building various uh, applications like connected manufacturing, connected logistics on our platform, which is powered by the OpenStack. I want to share with you this great video that we have that shows you the entire end-to-end -end solution. Can we run the video? In an industry 4.0 factory, any process and every action produces thousands of sensor data records. It's essential to collect, analyze, and visualize this data. The SAP HANA Cloud Platform enables just that. The requirement is an end-to-end -end view on process and production data. This enables to derive relevant actions in real time to make the company processes faster, better, and more efficient. Therefore, all data produced in the factory will be transferred to the SAP HANA Cloud Platform. With an analytics application running on this stack, the company gains clear insights into how to optimize processes. With the MindSphere Cloud for Industry, Siemens answers to the challenge of tougher competition manufacturing companies are facing. It interlinks physical products and production facilities with digital data, enabling innovative solutions and getting products onto the market faster. The SAP HANA Cloud Platform provides a unique set of in-memory databases and application services built on open standards and open technologies. Deploying a new application is just a matter of seconds. From the cockpit view, new application instances can be easily created, managed, and scaled to react to peaks during processing. These applications can leverage reusable services like microservices. The platform includes a variety of microservices and dashboards, also leveraging open standards and open technologies. It's easy to monitor the system and its state. Information can be stored in databases designed for big data, such as Hadoop, with an in-memory engine like SAP HANA Vora for queries. OpenStack is the foundation of the infrastructure as a service layer for this productive Internet of Things scenario. The physical data center becomes a pool of resources users can access. The SAP HANA Cloud Platform uses OpenStack to manage virtual machines, networks, and storage to fully abstract the underlying hardware systems. With that, um I also want to share with you that uh, we as SAP and our engineering team is actively engaged in the community. We are working on various OpenStack projects, all the way from Project uh, Ironic, which is to help with the bare metal uh, provisioning, Project Manila for uh, managing the shared file systems, and various other projects. We look forward to expanding our engagement and increasing and accelerating our engagement and uh, really contributing to the overall community. With that, if you all have any questions, feel free to attend our uh, panel session that is scheduled for later in the afternoon. And thank you all, and have a great event. Thank you all. Thank you, Nayaki. Thanks. 
I love hearing from new users, and uh, that video looks pretty cool where OpenStack is out there like building things. 